you've been driving around all day and your EV needs some juice. What now? Well, let's assume that you're out and about. You'll need to find a charging station. And that is easier than you might think. If you don't already know the location of a convenient charger, you can use an app such as ZapMap, or alternatively, your car's navigation system may well pinpoint stations. Once there, you'll need to park up at a charger that has the right kind of connector for your car. Yes, there are different kinds of charge ports rather than a single universal kind. So, let us explain. Starting with high speed charging, generally called fast or rapid charging, and there are two main connectors. The first we'll look at is called CCS, which looks like this. It's the most common rapid charging connection used by cars like VW's ID models, the Jaguar I-Pace and some Teslas. If your car has the capability, CCS can deliver a super rapid charge of up to 350 kilowatts. A less common charge connector is CHAdeMO, which is short for, wait for it, charge de move. This comes from the Japanese phrase Ocha demo ika gadasuka, which in English means how about a cup of tea? So in other words, go and have a cup of tea and by the time you're done, your car will be finished charging. Brilliant. It's used by some Japanese car manufacturers, so you'll find it on cars like the Mitsubishi Outlander plug-in hybrid and the Nissan Leaf. And while Chadamo was the first rapid charging standard and can charge your car at up to 50 kilowatts, most manufacturers have been moving away from it in favor of CCS. Next, we'll look at your options for slightly slower charging, which caps out at 43 kilowatts. For that, you'll need a type two connector. Getting deja vu? There's a reason why, because this seven pin plug is the same as the top bit on a CCS connector. All EVs are now sold with a Type 2 connector, which is usually integrated with a CCS port. It's this kind of plug you'll likely see on a destination charger at somewhere like a shopping centre or gym, as well as on a wall box charger at home. We should also point out that some Tesla models take a rapid charge via a Type 2 connector, but only from the Tesla supercharger stations. Plug into one of these and you can suck in electricity at 150 kilowatts. Once hooked up, you'll need to start the charge. Some older chargers require you to do this via an app or web browser, but increasingly charge stations now have contactless payment readers, something that's now compulsory in any new charger installations. Much more like it. The charge rate starts to slow down when the car reaches 80% capacity. So the most time efficient thing to do at this point would be to stop the charge and be on your merry way, even if that means stopping again to charge later in your journey. To stop the car charging at 80%, you can usually do that via the car, the charger or the app that you're using. Once you've done that, if you're using a tethered cable, pop that back in the machine and then you can drive away in near silence. Head to drivingelectric.com for the latest electric car advice, news and reviews. And make sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Before you go, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified when the next video goes live.